All right, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at what I think is a very cool lamp and charger sort of a combination. So sitting right here, right there. So we're gonna take a little closer look, talk more about it, and then I'm actually gonna move the camera so you can really see the buttons and the functions. First, a couple of images that'll give you a little more detail, then we'll take a closer look and talk more about it. All right, so as stated, we're taking a look at this lamp that also has the ability to charge your phone or tablet, whatever wireless device. You could use it for uh, earbuds, things like that. Maybe watches as well, I suppose. I don't have any wireless charging watches. So this is the box that it comes in, and it's actually bigger than I thought it would be, which is fine with me. I don't have a problem with it. So anyway, uh, some of the details, 15 watts for the wireless charging. Uh, 10 watts for the USB port, uh, 3,000 to 5,000, I believe, on the brightness. Yeah, 3,000 Kelvin to 5,000 Kelvin on the brightness. 1,000 Lux. It has a one-hour timer. It has a night light. It has an automatic uh, sensor setting, which adjusts for the light in the room, which is really cool. You can change between the, the different color modes, so you can have a warm, a cool, or a combination, uh, turn it off and on of course, and you can adjust the brightness on any one of those uh, settings. It has a nice looking finish, sort of a brushed silver gray gunmetal almost type color, and it's actually heavier than I thought it would be, which is fine, it's just more stable, but it's, it's much higher quality than I expected and it feels very, very good uh, in terms of quality. So that's really impressive. It has a generous amount of cord length for the power. I think it's 1.8 meters. And one meter, of course, is what, 36 inches, so a little more than that. Uh, it does come with sort of a little uh, warning paper. It comes with this little user manual. And I actually have this open because I want to give you some real quick specs. They did a really good job here. So 100 to 240 volt. 50, 60 hertz, 36 watt for power. LED power is uh, 90 by 0.5 watt. Output for wireless, 12 volt, 1.25 amp, 15 watt max. And it does fast charge. My phone does work fast charging, so that's good. It did charge quite quickly. Uh, the USB port, 5 volt, 2 amp, 10 watt max. Brightness setting, 5 levels. Color temperature, 3 modes, which is... As I stated, warm, cool, and then an in-between, which they call natural. 3,000 to 5,000 Kelvin. The size unfolded, 332 by 368 by 415 millimeter. You can convert that with Google if you need to. Weight is 1,400 gram, 30 gram, it says without adapter. So they did a really good job on that. Uh, Instructional information, in case you need it, is good. has a little QR code on it. I really like this little, it's the cutest little manual, I guess you could, or uh, catalog, if you will. And I think it's kind of cool. And it says, Momax 2021 Spring. And it showcases all the different products, or at least a lot of the different products. Maybe not all, I don't know. But a lot of products from this company. And I'm actually definitely going to be taking a look at some of these because I find them quite interesting. Their website is on the back, as well as it shows their different uh, social media platforms. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to move the camera and show you the actual lamp in a little more detail now. All right, so right now I'm charging my phone. The only two things that I would change about this 
is maybe I would change the button slightly to be around the edge here so because when you go to reach for your phone uh, like you may I don't know if you notice but you see these lights lighting up the different touch surfaces whenever you go to reach for your phone it's very easy to tap one of those and change a setting so you could turn the lamp off and on accidentally if you grabbed it too low or set the timer or one of the other things uh, that's available. Charger disconnected. So you have your charging base, you have your USB port, of course your plug in the back. The only other thing I would change about this is this portion here. I would make it so that it could actually turn because right now this doesn't swivel back and forth. And raise this up just a little so you can see. So you've got the ability to swing and adjust the light in a lot of different ways here, which is nice. And then you've got, let me lift this back up. On this back portion here, of course, you have the little cord that comes out, your joint. This portion on the back sticks out a little bit. Otherwise, I'd have this sitting this way, which would be more ideal. But because that sticks out, I can't do that, which is not a big problem. So anyway, here you have your brightness. So if I slide my finger back and forth. All right, so you saw the brightness. Now I'm going to show you the base where that is. So here's the bright, and here's the dim side. So if I slide my finger across... Okay, you have your sensor right here, and that's going to allow this to automatically adjust for the ambient light in the room. I'll put this back to medium brightness. You can see the different brightness uh, types, or color temperatures rather. Uh, so you have your warm, your cool, and your mixture of lights. Those are three different modes, and of course you can adjust the brightness within any one of those modes. Your power button's here on the side. You can see the little illuminated button, so that's going to make it easy to find at night. Here is in the middle. That's your ambient light sensor, so let me crank that up for a moment. So if I hit ambient light, you can see the light dim down. And if I put my finger over, you can actually see it increase brightness. That, that line right there that I hope you can see when I move my finger, you'll see that line automatically dim the light because of the ambient light in the room. So it put it close to about halfway. If I put my finger over it, it thinks it's totally dark, and it ramps it up to maximum brightness. So that's a really cool feature. You got, let me turn that off. And, all right, I'm going to set that to maximum. and you got your timer and your night light. So this is your timer. So if I touch that, it'll automatically turn off in one hour. And I don't know how well you can see, but it's very, very light. And it turns off and then back on. So you can see how bright. That night light feature, that's pretty cool because it's not really going to be too bothersome. If I turn that off, back off, turn it back on, Wireless charging. Charger connected. And it says fast wireless charging across the bottom. So fast charging is definitely nice. Take that back Charger off. I've got the USB port right there. I've got it turned this way so it's easily accessible. It also makes it easier to manage the cord. But overall, it's got a nice weighted base. Rubber on the bottom so it shouldn't scratch or damage. You can have this thing completely upright if you wanted it to be not sure why anybody really would want that but you could do that thanks for watching